Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another big episode in the Salford City career mode. We have a mammoth episode again for you guys. We have Napoli away. Well, again, I'm going to be visual simming. So if we look like we're losing or struggling, I will jump in. We have got a 1-0 lead, so I'm hoping, hoping we should be able to get it done. And then we've got a big game against City. The only thing is, is this is two days after the Napoli game. So I'm going to have to try and control that maybe try and take a couple players out already and then we have Newcastle away what I'm most likely going to be simulating and then we have the FA Cup semi-final what we're gonna we'll see where we are by the end of that but first off let's get straight into this game as I said I'm gonna be making a few changes because I do want a fresh enough team for the Premier League game so this is the team I'm going to go with. It's very much rotated. I've kept uh, Mbeso, Blesspin and Bellingham in there. Uh, I think that's the only other change. The rest are all completely new. I'm hoping we can at least just keep this to a draw. Or just try and nick a goal. Let's get straight into this. But here we go. We kick off. Can we get this? Oh, that's a... Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping I don't have to jump in. Because I've got too many other important games I need to play. I'll move it around. Are you serious? Six minutes in, fellas. Oh, for Christ's sake, the first attack. Oh, come on, boys. No, I've got fucking Jesus Christ, guys. Why do I have to do everything myself? Oh, I miss all you serious about shit. I am fucking disgraced. I am fucking disgraced at this. My, my team are just. They're starting every episode like shit. Fuck's sake, literally, I can't get a fucking shooting opportunity. Oh my god, the one place I didn't want to put you put to put that in, so and you put it right on Varane's head. Come on, and that was going straight to the keeper anyway. Move. Oh my god. Hey, so you're pissing me off with you fucking chances you're missing me. Yes! Come on. 3 2. We need one more goal. One more. I literally can't get a ball off him, it's pissing me off. Oh my god! Fuck off and give me a ball! Are you fucking kidding, Blesser Pinner? Are you fucking kidding me? You just knew that was gonna happen when I couldn't get a fucking ball off him! Piss right off with that! I was chasing like a fucking idiot and I couldn't get it! Yeah, Cooper Fitz, you just stay there, yeah? And look at where it goes! It goes straight to Insigne! We've got all that fucking power on that, but fuck me. Move, Sobberslide, go! Come on. Yes. Come on. No! 
What is that? What was that? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? Fuck right off, Napoli! I am fucking fuming. His team has just cost us. All these fucking backups are absolute broads. This is just fucking annoying because we absolutely dominated them. They've done to us what we should have done to them. We should have had three or four goals in the first leg, but we didn't. We fucking ruined our chances and Castile's basically won on that leg. Okay, guys, we are at our next game. I, I'm actually going to keep my, my full strength tight, even though Bellingham's quite tired. This is a game we need to win because it's just so funny now that at the start of the last episode, well, start of this episode, we were, we were possibly still on for a treble. Now, the Premier League's most likely gone, unless we can cause an absolute massive upset. The Europa League, we're out of it. I'm just so annoyed about that because honestly, we... <sighs> I still can't get over it, but I've got to let it go. I just, I can't, I hate Visual Simon. Visual Simon just seems to be an instant loss if you've got a less uh, overall team. Maybe I should have quick simmed it, but I wanted the chance in case we were losing to put, to jump in, but. Fuck it. It's in the rear view mirror. I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to keep the best team out there because this is actually, we've only got two titles we can go for now, the Prem and the FA Cup. Uh, so we're going to play in this one, we're going to simulate in the Newcastle game after this and then we're going to play in the Spurs game for the FA Cup semis. So there's still a lot to play for. Let's get straight into this one. We are at Etihad Stadium. Probably going to be half empty, but let's get into it. So we are at the Etihad. Come on, we need a better performance than the last one. To be quite fair, I don't think I played that bad. I just got so screwed over, but anyway, move on. I won't be able to move on, but I'm going to stop talking about it. Take that, James Justin just squeezes Ferran Torres out of it. Jude Bellingham, passes over the hall back. Back to Jude Bellingham. Sob a slide. Finds Jimenez, who then can set Graf on his way. And Sob a slide, heading towards the middle. And look at this, Molly! Oh, maybe I should have brought it down. Oh, Dominic Sobersai. Oh, he just sort of sliced it. Maybe with a bit too much power on the on the cross, but oh, a very very good move out from back to front. Oh no, Graf gives it away. Can't give it to him there. Oh, what a clearance by Embe. So, Foden, I don't, I don't know if that was a good scene by him. He kept it in. Still at ball, though, I see. Roddy Egan is really well there. Gets away. And look at this. Jane Brass away. Jane Brass away. Come on. We need the support. Where's the support? But maybe he can just sharpen up. And he puts it away! Oh, amazing work down the right between Roddy Yeager and Braff. Braff gets us the goal to put us ahead of an absolutely massively important game of our season. Jao Cancelo, oh, I don't know, he's usually very pacey with the fullback, but obviously Braff's pretty pacey as well. Come on, I love that. Come on. Oh my god. They just passed that round and just it just went to zero to hundred within seconds. Again Embe so coming out. I thought was that me? If that was me, fair enough, but if that was Embe so coming out of the line. I don't want to do that. Right. How did the fucking ginger prick of fucking Manchester just knock a six foot one fucking Mariba out of the way. For fuck's sake, I swear to God this game's fucked sometimes.
What the f- He done it again! Stop it! No. What was that? Dude, Bellingham hit that quite nicely. Off oh, that. Get away here. Kalina is there. But I don't know if he's got the pace to keep up with Asante. No, he doesn't. And Asante's shaping up. Oh, bad for him as well. Hold at the ball. Again, there's no one in the middle! Absolutely no one! What are we supposed to be doing here, lads? Why? Get in the box! Bra. Oh, yes, good touch. Good touch. Good touch. Oh, my fucking God. I'm really, really well against... Uh, Oh, fuck off Carvajal. I'm gonna kill Carvajal! Can he fuck off? Oh, I fucking hate this game! I'm getting fucking fuming. Because honestly, I can't get a ball of these bastards! And we should be fucking winning this game! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, I fucking choked! Oh my god, I can't believe it! What the hell just happened? <coughs> oh my god! What happened here? The play just went past it. It's the least we deserve, but holy crap, the way we've just done it, I feel quite sorry for him. I don't give a shit. We got it. We've won it. In the final minute. Oh my god, that really hurt. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. I actually choked when I was celebrating. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a good. Oh, Jesus Christ. What an end to an absolutely amazing derby. An amazing, important game. We 100% deserve to win it. I thought we were a better team. And we've done it. Come on, boys. I'm so happy. The good thing is now as well, guys, we still got a game in hand on Chelsea, so we can still go two points above them if we win our game in hand. Also, I think Arsenal either be lost or be drawn because we're only one point behind them. And if we win our game in hand as well, we'll go a couple points behind City. So it is still possible if some of the top four lose. But then again, it could all go crumbling down if we lose against 18th place Newcastle United. Going to stick with my best team out there. Please, please get the win. Yes, we do. Asante, Jimenez and Braff. Braff, I've got to say, he has been really good in the last couple of games. I've got to say. Arsenal won though, so did United, so did we really needed maybe Watford to do something. But it is that time where we are, we are at the last game of the episode, but what a last game it is. So we are at the semi-finals of the FA Cup, we're at Wembley. Our first proper trip to Wembley, obviously we're not there at the final yet, but we are one good performance away from getting to the final and um, looking at the team I don't think we're too bad on fitness um, I might have to make some changes so this is the team I've been going for for the semi-finals uh, people like Hanlon come in, Van der Brept Bagus and Jones and Kupicevic or whatever his fucking name is <laughs> honestly uh, but this is a big opportunity. We really need to get that big performance in and hopefully get through to the final.
So here we are, the big day we've been waiting for for over a month since we were at the quarterfinals. We are against Spurs. Unfortunately, we didn't get Rob for a move. It would have been nice to have an easy one, but we'll have to, we might actually be able to get a bit of revenge on United if we get through to the final, because it looks like they're going to beat Rotherham after what they did was in the last episode. We deserve a bit of that. But they've not played yet. They, oh my God. Rotherham actually beat City. And they beat West Ham. Wow, so maybe we could do it. But we'll have to see. But we will be checking out the teams. Let's check out this Spurs team. We'll see what they're going with. Our team, Lesser Pinner starts, Van der Brep took right back, Hanlon and Embe So as the centre backs, left back James Justin, centre mids are putting Baguza Masengo, Asante on the right, Kukupsic on the left, Sobasai through the middle with J Ricky J Jones going through up top. The Spurs team, we got Unai Simon in goal, we got Totti, White, Hummel and Ricky on and back, Hoiberg Rodriguez, wow, he's the man. Rolls at left, Everton in the centre mid, and Bergwijn and Charleston up front. A hell of a stellar team. I know Charleston is top, somewhat top of the charts near Sobersly in the Prem. Let's hopefully, come on boys, let's get to the final. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ben White against Ricky J. Jones. And Ricky J. Jones could get as the first goal. Oh, but you know, Simon. Oh, big save by him. Summer slide. Playmaker. But look at that. Kupovic. He's there. He's there. He can shape him up. And Kupovic! Again, we pull us another save out of Unai Simon. No! For Christ's sake! Is that happening guys? It happened the exact same way. Mbso comes out of position, so then the whole back line is absolutely messed up. For Christ's sake, come on! Ah, oh, here it goes. You get one goal and you start fucking playing the best ever. Oh my god! I swear to god! Can we get our shit together, boys? Oh my god, do you wanna give me someone? Oh, I fucking hate this game. This game is a corrupt prick. This game is corrupt. It is fucking corrupt, I swear to god. I'm having to bring Braff and Bellingham on for that second half, because honestly, we've just been fucking awful since we missed them two good chances. It's the typical thing, you miss chances like that, he bite you on the arse. They score their first fucking opportunity. They've hit the bar about three or four times. Oh, fuck. Where does he get that pace from? We just get the ball back for fuck's sake. I swear to God, this rest! I'm fucking done with him! He's a fucking corrupt bastard! They are corrupt little bastards. Fuck right off, Regulon, you fucking prick. You're an absolute prick. Pissed right off. You fucking walked right into it. I 
can't get a ball back. tell you how frustrating this game has been but Asante comes up with a massive goal I can't believe it you and I Simon can't save it oh my god thank the goddamn lord oh come on we still have time take this we've been locked out of sit of Spurs' defense all game apart from the two open opportunities but we missed they absolutely have been pounding us they've hit a bar about five or six times and now Asante and Jimenez have just brought us out of the depths and through to the final we should be now and there it is I can't believe it. I can't tell you how much raging I've done in that one game. Probably not a lot of it's in it because not much was happening. It was just so frustrating every single time I touched it. There was no one running forward apart from the last two times we attacked. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, that's one of the most fucking frustrating but amazing end to the game ever. Come on, boys. We're through to the final. And there it is as well, ladies and gentlemen. Rotherham actually did pretty well. They beat in City and um, West Ham 2-1 in the last two rounds. They nearly did it against uh, United, but United came on top. They won 2-1 against Rotherham. So it is a Salford v Man United final. What a final that'll be. By the way, guys... I think Arsenal must have lost or drawn or something because we're two points behind them and we still have a game to play on them. We still have a game on City as well, so we really could do with City losing one game and us winning our last few games or our last five. Who have they got? City got Leeds and then we got Tottenham. So that's a losable game. Uh, but honestly, that game, I can't tell you how <laughs> my heart's beating so fast because it was such a one, just one of them games. It was such, it was a hard one to take. I actually got to face first again in the next episode, so uh, got to take a break off this. Uh, let's have a little look at Youth Academy while we're at it. Uh, Thierry is doing quite well. He's up to a 67 now. He's definitely someone who maybe could come through next. To be quite fair, what I'm going to probably do, I'm going to promote him already. Uh, he can uh, go out and low next season. Matthew Little, he's actually up to 67, what's the same as Lennox. And he has much better potential. So, um, the one thing I do want to do is I want to get him on that better. I need to get his goalkeeping work rate up, his defensive work rate. So, that's quite good. I'm really liking that. Let's have a little look at Ukraine. This might be the last one, so if there's anyone I want, this is the last one for God to do it. I'm not too sure if next month's one as well, but I'm gonna treat it as. Um, Francois, no. No. We've got so many players in the youth academy now, I'm only getting the best. Dickinson, no, absolutely nothing, but holy crap, guys, 
what an end to the season we're going to be having. I'm most likely um, going to play next episode, going to play the Spurs game, and then simulate these two home games, then play the final home away game, what is against uh, Southampton, and then the cup match. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a, a long episode in the next one, but um, obviously... It's the, it's going to be the finale, and then we will find out as well if there's any international tournaments going on. I don't think there will be, but uh, we'll see. So most likely next episode is going to be the finale of season five. We're going, we're getting so high, and honestly, Sobersly is still up for the golden boot. What is amazing? He's he really did help in that last game, honestly. But. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you catch the next episode, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, put the bell icon on so you know exactly when I'm going to be uploading again, and until next time guys, thank you so much, I am out.